What's up guys, this is Chris here, and today we're gonna be doing another First Shots. Today, I've got something really exciting for you. We finally got our hands on the new Staccato CS. The new Staccato CS is for sure one of the hottest guns of the year. A lot of people have been talking about it, but it's been very difficult to get a hold of. I have a lot of excitement for this gun, and I have kind of a lot of expectations already, and if you watch the channel, you'll understand why. The Staccato CS is a slightly smaller version of the Staccato C2, which is a single action compact pistol, a 2011 style design, that it happens to be one of my favorite guns of all time. This is a slightly smaller, slightly lighter version of that, meant for concealed carry, and it is the smallest version Staccato has released. If you know anything about Staccato, they used to be STI, but they changed their name because it's not as flattering. <laughs> but uh, Staccato in and of itself, kind of changed the game when it came to 2011s. What they did was instead of airing on the side of competition style 2011s, they went with a more duty, concealed carry oriented design. And they ended up making a gun that's very, very reliable that still has the same great 1911 ergonomics, trigger, and accessories. They're just more reliable and they have a double stack design. This uh, 2011 here, the CS, is a three and a half inch, which is about half inch shorter than the Staccato C2, and it also takes the new magazine design. These are the uh, 16 rounders, so this one is not gonna be magazine compatible with all the larger ones, which is a downside, but it is gonna be slimmer, and it's gonna be lighter at only 22 ounces. Now, I heard a lot of people say this was a micro double stack nine millimeter, similar to something like the M&P Shield here, which will pop out. This is my M&P Shield, and as you can see, the Staccato is still significantly bigger than that. That being said, it's probably going to shoot a little better too. The Staccato shoot very, very well. So getting into this, no, this is gonna be kind of a little bit in between a subcompact and a compact style handgun, kind of similar to the M&P Compact, to be honest with you. Uh, it's gonna be a double stack design, a little bit thicker than the Micro 9, but a little bit thinner than your standard uh, concealed carry 2011. Now it comes with some features that is kind of standard on Staccato, but not on a lot of guns that are lower in the price point. You're gonna get fiber optic front with a blacked out rear. They are raised so they will co-witness with your optic. They come with optics plates. You have ambi safeties on either side. You have a swappable magazine release. You have great texture. You have a very extended uh, beaver tail on the grip safety there, which is very nice. So you always initiate that when you grip the gun. That's very nice. We have a combat style hammer, a lightened hammer, a very, very short and crisp trigger. I would say that's probably around three and a half, four pounds. Feels very good and the reset's very fast. So I think that's gonna make for a quick shooting gun. Today we're gonna be shooting at iron sights and we're gonna be testing all the uh, the bells and whistles on the gun out. And before we do though, I do wanna thank my patient supporters. Thank you guys very much. It's because of you we have guns and ammo and cool stuff on the channel. We really appreciate that. Uh, we try to make content for you and not the industry and thanks for supporting us. If you wanna support us, all you do is go to the link in the description and sign up for Patreon. Also, there's a link in the description for a local homeless shelter. It's the YSS, it's a youth shelter in Ames, Iowa. Those kids could really use your help, so please Please go down and donate to those kids. And I want to thank the Sonoran Desert Institute for sponsoring the video. We appreciate that. They're one of our favorite sponsors. I try to get sponsors I believe in, and this is certainly one of them. If you want to get an education in gunsmithing, if you want to get in the gun industry, it's a great way to go. SDI offers great education in a number of different fields when it comes to firearms. If you want to be a gunsmith, I think that's an amazing profession. There's very few gunsmiths in my area. And then finally, I do want to thank Staccato as well for sending the gun for review. Uh, we appreciate that. It won't change our review in any way. It doesn't guarantee a positive review. As you guys know, if you watch the channel, I'm as honest as I can be. And we're gonna show you everything that happens today. Although I have worked with Staccato in the past with the XC, with the Staccato P and the C2, and all of those guns are excellent. So I expect excellence from this as well. All right, my blustery beauty. All right, we got this tiny little badass pistol here, and we are in the wind tunnel. My bad for that. This is actually the least windy day of the week, <laughs> but it's Iowa, so it is what it is. I can't hear shit. Am I hitting that? You got three out of, I don't know how many. Oh, all I hear is It's like a tornado it's out here. it's windy. Hit. Hit. It helps when you call them out. Cause like I, I just- Yeah, but I bet people get annoyed. 
Well, so far it shoots absolutely fantastic, but that's kind of what we expected. All right, so one of the things I wanted to do quick was do a little size comparison. We already shot one mag, but I brought these guns out, so I figured I'd do them. This is the new Canik MC9. So you can kind of see how they match up there. The grip on the staccato is a little bit longer. Barrel's relatively the same. I already showed you the shield, but I wanted to show you the C2. And the C2 and the CS have a very similar silhouette, although the CS is a little bit thinner, a little bit shorter, and a little bit shorter on the slide length as well. But it's actually not that much smaller. When I got it, I thought it was gonna be a little smaller than this. I think that's gonna create a, a, a better shooting platform overall, but it might be a little more difficult to carry than I think somebody, as a lot of people initially anticipated. All right, so we'll load up another mag here and shoot it at uh, 50 yards. See how we do. Hit, hit, hit. What's going on? Angle. Yeah. You got it. Well, I am not shooting this as well as I thought I was going to. Hmm. I'll admit that. Yeah. All right, so now we're at the seven yard line here. My out of shape ass is already tired from walking down here. <laughs> See how we do. All right, let's check that out. Okay, one pretty wild flyer, and then the other four went right there. Hmm. So whatever that is. Ammo? I don't think that's ammo. Hmm. That was probably me sucking. Or wind? Nah, it's probably me sucking. Wind, wind probably pushes this off this much at like 25 or 30 yards. Wind isn't as powerful as people lead it to believe. It's, it's usually this. It's like one of those, you know, guy things I feel like. Like if uh, something's wrong, it's gotta be your tool. It's gotta be the gun. It's gotta be the sights. Why do I shoot left? Sights are off. Better move them over. Couldn't be my trigger finger. Let's try some headshots. Do it. Check that out. Okay. I like to speed up toward the end, kind of see how the recoil impulse goes. These are all the ones I did slow, and then I go fast and I start dropping them here, which means I'm kind of snatching the trigger, pulling the gun down a little bit. I don't feel like I'm super shooting super well today. Nothing like a little speed to make things look better. <laughs> Shred, baby! That's what the kids want anyway, Instagram shooting. Shred that shit. No. That dirty bastard, I got him though. You don't chase <laughs> the Texas star, you I'm let like, it no. come to you. I shot four out of five and then missed three times in a row. It's well, okay. that was a quick three mags. Well. All right, now I'm starting to have a little more fun. Okay. I gotta wake up a little bit. It was definitely me. One thing I just noticed, we were shooting an Instagram video. And I gotta tell you, this thing has some speed. Check this out. <laughs> that is why I love 2011s. All right, so, so far, the Staccato CS delivered in my personal opinion. We had some initial issues with accuracy, but that was really just me. I had one flyer and then four in the same hole at seven yards, and then at 15 yards we had no problems. Went back again, had no issues, and then we started shooting fast, and we found out, what a surprise, 2011s are quick, and so is this one. We shot, what, like 130 or 140 rounds for this today? Something like that. Mixed ammunition, 115 yep. grain and 124. No, yep. no, no experiences, or no fails of any kind. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention uh, is it does also fit in Staccato C2 holsters, 
locks up and everything. So that's pretty cool. Uh, probably half an inch longer, but uh, if you have a Dremel, you can just cut them off or you can just order a C2 or a CS holster. They probably are available. Um, this is an expensive gun. It really is. $2,500 for the optics ready version is not cheap. But what you get out of it is you get so far, stone cold reliability, and you get a real fast shooting pistol. We're going to be doing a thousand round review of this for sure. Uh, I know that you guys are going to request this. This is one of the most highly requested guns on the channel, and uh, we'll be glad to do that because this was a fun shooting pistol. Um, this is not a micro nine millimeter, as a lot of people said. This is more of a subcompact, even slightly larger than that. I would consider this to be a little bit bigger than a Glock 26, uh, but it does shoot like it as well. One thing you have to remember is the bigger gun you get, the better it shoots. So uh, if you'd like a gun that shoots like this well this is not a bad one to choose so far uh, I'm not gonna give it a recommendation yet because obviously this is not a review this is just the first shots we go and we shoot 100 150 rounds through it and we give you our initial impressions and then later comes the review uh, I don't do reviews like a lot of people do on YouTube I actually review the gun and it usually takes a few months so if you want to subscribe and you want to see future content uh, let me know. If you want to see any verses, anything like that with this gun, let me know as well. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Please help out your local homeless shelters. And remember to recycle. I'll check you later. Man, I've been fucking up today.